So in this video, we'll do a couple of exercises about the topic of limit and uh, let's look at the first one. And uh, please recall a couple of methods that we have learned so far in the previous couple of uh, videos. And as I mentioned it a few times, uh, for any limit problems, it's really actually quite important um, as a first step, as a shortcut to, uh, to replace x by 1 to check what's happening inside the fractions. Like this case, when we replace x by 1, we are actually doing um, a calculation like this and numerically the top is the same as 7, the bottom is 1, so it is 7. And you see 7 is a fixed number, it is not undetermined, it is not. And um, and actually this problem is a polynomial over polynomial, so we don't see any strange about that. It's not a strange function, so we can easily just uh, directly claim that the answer is actually 7 based on this. Uh, that's the quickest shortcut you can use uh, for any problem in limit. However, let's look at the second example. When you replace x by minus 2, so the top is minus 2 plus 2, the bottom is minus 2 squared plus 5 times minus 2 plus 6. And you see now the fraction becomes 0 over 4 minus 10 plus 6 equals 0 over 0. And we have seen it a couple of times already. 0 over 0 is uh, undetermined. And um, in that case, in that case, when it is undetermined, um, you cannot just write the answer as 0 over 0. Uh, it doesn't make sense. This fraction does not make sense. You have to use a new method to to attack such problem. And um, we can rely on some high school algebra for, for this case, because the bottom, you can do a factorization. You can make the factors at uh, x plus 2 times x plus 3. And now you see the factor x plus 2 obviously is cancelled. So we are dealing with the limit for the function 1 over x plus 3. And now it's good. We are not going to get an undetermined item because this item is what is 1 over minus 2 plus 3 when we replace x by minus 2. So uh, the answer is what? The answer is 1 over 1, which is 1. That's it, finished. Um, this case is different because when we take x goes to infinity, we expect something very different. And please recall the fact that um, I mentioned a few videos ago, uh, we, when x goes to infinity for a fraction like this, uh, we only have to keep the highest power term. Highest power divided by highest power term. That's it. Uh, that's really the, the only shortcut that I mentioned to you for such problems. So basically, it means when x goes to infinity, I can just keep uh, the highest power term at the top and the highest power term in the bottom. And we can cancel out something. 2 is cancelled by a factor of 2 out of 4. So um, you see it is 2 here, it is 2. And here, um, I think only one copy of x left. So we are having a limit problem now, which is 1 divided by 2x. And now, conceptually speaking, when x goes to infinity, uh, the fraction becomes this. And uh, 1 over infinity is basically 0, right? Um, and conceptually, 1 divided by infinity uh, is really conceptually the same as 0. Or the other way to think about this problem is you are taking x to be bigger and bigger all the time. And as a fraction, 1 over 2x is getting smaller and smaller. And uh, it's getting gradually approaching to 0. So uh, that's the hint uh, to such problems. And let's look at the last one. You see, uh, let's check out the last problem. Uh, you can take a quick shortcut. Let's check what's happening when x is 1. Um, you are doing 1 divided by 0, which is undefined, which is undefined. Uh, but uh, let's be more careful about that. I mean, uh, for example, for example, if you look at this graph, this graph is going to be this graph, like this. At the point one, at the point one. So um, it means what? It means when you take the left limit, uh, x goes to one minus uh, for this function, it is actually going to negative infinity. Uh, for the right hand limit, one plus, you see, uh, it's like you're going uh, above, it is positive infinity. And uh, you see, these two answers are not the same. And when the left limit is not the same as the right limit, we can, of course, say that it doesn't exist, the limit. It does not exist because uh, these two are not the same. If both are the same, same fixed number, and this is the answer of our two assignment to this problem, if both are positive infinity, 
Uh, you can just put the answer as undefined, or you can say uh, it's actually approaching uh, positive infinity, both are okay. And anyway, uh, that's the end of this video.